Hey everyone! I'm Scarlett and I'm Christina. And before we begin today's video, we want to talk about what's been happening after George Floyd was murdered by the Minneapolis Police Department. Police brutality has been an issue in this country for decades. And what's going on with the protests right now is not just due to George Floyd's murder, but it's due to the long history of racism, discrimination, and oppression that black people have had to face in this country. We stand in support with the Black Lives Matter movement, and we recognize that there's structural change that needs to occur in order for racism to be eliminated in this country. We'll link a bunch of resources below. Just check them out if you want to make a change. All right, so for today's video, we sat down and watched the Disney Channel movie, The Color of Friendship, for the first time. So if you guys don't know what The Color of Friendship is, it's a movie about Congressman Ron Dellums' family and how they bring in a South African exchange student to live with them. And in the beginning of the movie, we see how everyone's excited, you know, the Mari, the girl from South Africa, is so excited to be able to come to America, experience new things, and how Piper and her family, um, the congressman's family, are excited, you know, they're going to host this child from South Africa, they're going to have fun, make friends, and learn so much. What we see at the airport scene kind of is this thought that Mari was going to be black because she's from Africa and that Piper and her family were going to be white. In apartheid South Africa, a congressman or anyone, in, yeah, or anyone in government is white. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that saying like, oh, both sides can have prejudice, both sides can think certain things about other people, it kind of, not oversimplified, but it kind of avoided the fact that there's a big difference between Mari and her police men father in apartheid South Africa to have these prejudice thoughts versus Piper's family thinking that someone from Africa was going to be black. It explored race relations in a Disney Channel way. Although we should make sure content for kids is as easily understandable as possible and that it doesn't like traumatize them, they kind of made it seem like racism can be eliminated by, by you, just yeah by you spending time with people by you spending time with people and like making them understand you when sometimes that might work but a lot of the time it's a lot more complicated than that mari grew up in this completely racist prejudiced system and i feel like it would take more than a couple of months to just erase, erase that from her brain they didn't even get into her family and how they've reacted like we don't know if they ever knew that mari was staying with a black family okay. her dad is a cop in south africa i truly truly doubt that by spending a few months you're just gonna eliminate the years of listening to those around you saying black people can't be free, they can't walk around, they need passes, they need to live in these areas away from us. Piper's mom was so kind of adamant on her staying, kind of wanting to change her mind and wanting her to maybe see that, you know, we're the same. And I just feel like that could be a possibility sometimes, but it made it seem very rosy and it not because it's really not really. because apartheid is over and supposedly segregation jim crow is over in the u.s here and what we're talking about still not having ended discrimination and racism and we kind of ran into the issue that we're seeing it for the first time and i don't remember it being played a lot when we were kids at all. I just kind of knew of it, but I don't remember ever watching it like on the TV. At first I thought, because there's a particular scene in the movie that would be considered kind of like respectful, well, not rated not rated G, G because of the language used in the scene. But then when we were doing our research, we found out that there's a version of the movie without that scene it. in it. So it's like, why didn't they play this movie? And I don't know if it would have done any good to even play it because I don't feel like it's accurate and I feel like it gives kids a false representation of the actual issue. Yeah, false expectations. So going back to the scene that we referenced earlier. So I don't have to wear a uniform. Well, not unless my school changed the dress code over the summer. Your school? I'm going to your school. Yeah, where'd you think you are going? <laughs> Not to Bantu school. What? What? Bantu. You call the school Bantu. 
Does that mean nigger? No, no. In Afrikaans, Bantu means negro or black. Kaffir means nigger, which I'd never say. You'd be Bantu in my country, maybe even colored, never Kaffir. At least not to me. People will blanket not like a group of people and then they find maybe one co-worker, maybe someone that they go to school with and like that specific person because they have certain characteristics or they act a certain way that this person deems is appropriate and okay behavior. And then it goes into, you know, this, well, you're not like them. So in this scene, when Mari's talking about the different terms that you, she uses in her country to refer to black people, she mentions a word that's synonymous to saying the N-word. And although there is an edited version of this movie without that scene, I feel like if they ever did show the like uncut version, then kids would just get the sense of like, yeah, if I'm upset at a black person, this is a really negative term that I can say to them to insult them and demean them. Another point that we kind of were talking about while watching the movie is this idea of people following society's rules without questioning it. And I think this is one of the reasons why there's so many issues still present today that have been around for centuries. It's because no one says why. No one asks how. And all throughout the movie, you hear her just repeating what it sounds like she learned from her dad and the government. It's the idea of people today as well just following what they've been maybe taught by their parents or their grandparents. In order to make a change you need to be anti-racism, anti what you've been taught your whole life because those systems that have been placed into your brain, that knowledge that has been placed into your brain by other people is actively harming black people. Okay, everyone, so we want to thank you all for watching this video. We were very excited to watch this movie for the first time. We never had watched it before, and so it was good to kind of watch it, especially now. In light of what's going on Yeah. Now. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click our description below, and there you will find petitions to sign, places to donate to, and actions you can take to help the Black Lives Matter movement, and what's happening in our country currently.